The ocean's mysteries will draw you to their depths. One mystery will seize you, body and soul. It is a creature long demonized, a monster that could tear a ship to pieces, or so the tall tales told. But the truth is even stranger than the science fiction. Now an international team risk their lives to chase a legend. To reveal the truth behind the myths of the giant octopus. It's one of the ocean's most enigmatic creatures. There are almost 300 species of octopus. They run the gamut of colors, shapes, and sizes. They thrive in virtually every marine habitat, from deep hydrothermal vents to shallow shores. One is the stuff of legend, the giant Pacific octopus. Most octopus species weigh a kilogram or less. The giant octopus lives up to its name. History records rare leviathans wrestled from the depths, weighing in excess of 50 kilograms, and perhaps much more than that. Stories of freakish giants with 10-meter arm spans date back more than 50 years. Some captures were said to tip the scales at over 180 kilograms, as much as a black bear. Such reports are shrouded in uncertainty, but this has not stopped fearsome monsters taking hold of our imagination. The giant Pacific octopus bears that reputation. It has two fleshy horns above the eyes and a nickname to match. Devilfish. It is evil incarnate in many cultures, a demonic beast that looms large in literature. The ultimate Hollywood monster. It holds just as much allure for marine biologists. Jim Cosgrove has devoted 35 years to studying the giant Pacific octopus. Even he was unsure what to make of them at first. The first time I saw a giant octopus, uh, it had taken me several months to learn what to look for. It was very much of a fear, fascination uh, type of thing. I wasn't sure you know, whether it was going to lunge out at me and grab me and suck the heart out of me or just what was going to happen. But I've learned an awful lot about them since then. Jim lives on Vancouver Island in Canada's British Columbia. Giant octopus range widely along the North Pacific coastline, but the biggest specimens on the planet are said to flourish here, off British Columbia. But why? What would make these waters so inviting to the species? And just how big do the octopus here get? 